John Brumby says he's unaware of rape allegations against senior cabinet minister Theo Theophanis. The Premier appeared stunned when confronted with the claims on radio this morning. Nick Johnston's been following today's developments and joins me now. Peter, Theo Theophanis has been one of the great survivors of state politics, but even he must be wondering if he can weather the storm now engulfing him and the state government. Today, his brother Andrew Theophanis, the former federal MP, even claimed that he may have been set up. His comments came as the crisis appeared to worsen, as more detail came to light about the nature of the very serious allegations being investigated by police. Theo Theophanis went into hiding today, refusing to answer any questions about the scandal now engulfing the Brumby government. A scandal which soon deepened when the Premier arrived for his appearance on morning radio. A source has confirmed to us the allegation is rape. Well, I'm not in a position to comment on that. And I can certainly say to you that um, he did not uh, mention that in any way, shape or form in his discussion with me. It's also been reported that a member of the sexual crime squad recently travelled to Greece to interview a young woman who worked at state parliament in the late 1990s when the incident is alleged to have occurred. It's not the first time Mr Theophanis has faced such allegations. In 2005 he was forced to deny claims he harassed a female attendant of parliament by repeatedly asking her out. The Premier and the Minister should provide a frank and full explanation to the Victorian community but the Premier appears unwilling or unable to ask the questions of his minister. Police are expected to interview Mr Theophanis in the coming days. In the meantime, he's taken leave from Parliament and stood down from Cabinet. Even though I know that I have done nothing wrong, the test for ministers in a government is rightly high. Nick Johnston, Nine News.